Well, the waters of Cuban rivers are running clean, according to a joint study from Cuban and U.S. researchers. And it could be a model for the future of agriculture. CGTN's Luis Chirino has more. The rivers in the central Cuban province of Cienfuegos were the subject of tests for water quality by a joint expert team of Cuban and U.S. scientists. Rita Cibello is a Cuban expert at the Cienfuegos Center for Environmental Studies and a member of the scientific team. Samples of water and sediments were collected from 25 river basins in all. The results have proven that the water quality of Cuban rivers is excellent. They enjoy good health. The results were confirmed through lab tests applied to all collected samples. We measured physical and chemical parameters at the rivers and here in the lab, with both revealing low phosphorus and nitrogen levels. This proved the good water quality of Cuban rivers. Cuba backed away from extensive use of chemicals and fertilizer for farming when its supplies were disrupted by the fall of the Soviet Union back in the early 1990s and then turned to more sustainable practices, including organic farming. In mountainous areas where some fertilizers are still used, land barriers or terraces help prevent chemicals from reaching the rivers, like these, set up by this farmer. The scientists agree that this research study in Cuba reveals the friendly and beneficial relationship between sustainable agriculture and river basins, an example to follow by other nations. The study, however, wasn't all positive. It also found high levels of manure-related E. coli bacteria present in most of the samples, the result of runoff from areas where cattle graze. <laughs> We base our work on integrated soil management, but we still need practical implementation tools, like how to process ranching and agriculture-linked waste in order to cushion its impact on local rivers. The research study brought together U.S. and Cuban scientists for the first time in 60 years, despite sanctions and political differences. The relations and exchange among all researchers were excellent. The only difference between us was the language. They used their English, we are Spanish, and we teamed up so well with the aim of joining forces to study the environment. This joint research study has not ended. Cuban scientists say they will next target rivers in eastern Cuba. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Cienfuegos.